Oh, whoops. What's up guys, my name is Chris Kane, and welcome to Let's Play Found Horror Game 11 series. This is the fifth game. Uh, I thought it was called Pure Field, but apparently it's called Feast Your Eyes, Little Marshmallow. Probably referring to Close Your Eyes. Feast Your Eyes. Uh, let's jump in, because I'm scared. I'm uncomfortable. Don't rob yourself of the experience, play in a dark and quiet environment. Alright. Play trying the music. Blah, blah. Uh, yeah, adult contact, a disturbing nature. You have been warned. Ooh. Oh my dear sweet marshmallow. Oh, I've how I've missed you. I recall many the many memories we've shared. Your efforts to rescue me with the uttermost bliss. You are my beloved knight, you know. My beautiful shining prince, as precious as the glow of a baby star. But it has been a while since we last saw each other, huh? Perhaps you've forgotten me. But do not fear, for I will hold out for you, my dear. But now is not the time for idle memories, for at, for at this very moment you're sinking. Are you still unable to see even now? Even so, then this is quite a predicament. Little Marshmallow, if you don't stop diving deeper, well, who knows what might happen to you? Or who might take, just take an interest? like a moth to a flame. But, oh, how excited this makes me feel. It's absolutely memorizing, drawing out an even more cautious side, excuse me, more curious side of myself, which makes me want to explore you all over. However, I do remember how you've held me in the past, and so I shall hold my tongue, bite down into it, Chew it up, tear it apart until it bleeds, and spit it out. We may share in these revels later, but for now you must stop sinking. Or maybe it is your intention to sink. I don't know why I gave that voice that voice. Uh, but yeah. Stag Gamers games are always so creepy. Damn narrators talking. They say time waits for no one. But what do you do if time's already stopped for you? Oh wow, it is close your eyes. It's the little marshmallow guy. And it's in 3D? Okay. Oh, can't go back. This is not what I was expecting. This is cool. Alright. And yeah, guys, if you have not checked out the Found Horror Game series from Aesthetic Gamer, I encourage you to purchase it and play the games yourself, or watch them on YouTube, whatever it is, but Close Your Eyes is such a really good game of his, and this is probably maybe his sequel to Close Your Eyes, I don't know. Also, the, this game reminds me a lot of Hollow Bliss, which is a game that I have the privilege of being a voice actor in. I was very thankful to do that, although I believe I can do way better than I did in that game. So there's a door, but I'm going to keep exploring if I even can. It looks like I can't. Is there any other actions other than move and interact? I guess not. I am a murderer. Not that long ago, I was sentenced to death. Sentenced to death row. 
I was to be hanged for my crimes. I stabbed eight people to death. But somehow I managed, I escaped that fate. My noose broke at the last crucial moment. I ran, but... I never really became free, you know? The only way I can go now is forward. You don't say. This just looks like close your eyes. Time and place are beginning to blur. I guess that's all right. I have nowhere to go and nothing to look forward to. So I escaped from being hanged, but the noose is uh, around my neck. It is now a part of me. All right, I'm just gonna head down the stairs. What are these Resident Evil type camera angles? I really like how he did the animations in this. I have no idea what to expect. I I'm assuming this is just close your eyes again. Uh, we'll just stare for now. Oh, there's nowhere else to go. Okay. I appreciate a camera angle that lets me see what I can see better. Look <laughs> at that Minecraft torch. Now I like the little animation of the character moving his head back and forth. That's so... That's something you don't have to do, but it looks great. What the hell was that? I'm sorry, was this not a doorway? No. Something's back there. Help! Oh, I can't go back there. Probably for the best, you know. Oh, shit. There probably is already plushies for the marshmallow character. If not, that's should be done right now. What the? Oh, it's the announcer, isn't it? So it didn't work, huh? I knew this was just a load of hogwash. Just give it a second, okay? It's gonna work. It has to work. Joe, none of us here want to see this fail, but Harry is right. Would have waited long enough. All of our hard work was for nothing. We should just go home. So you're just gonna leave Valerie? We're gonna let her die? Uh, I'm sorry, Joan, but I'm with Harry and Ben on this one, too. We all knew this probably wouldn't work. We've done all we could. I think. We just have to... Don't give me any of that bullcrap, Allie. You have never even liked her to begin with. You're selfish, you know that? You all are just so selfish. You're the one being selfish, Joan. It was a dumb idea all along. We only helped because none of us wanted to see a classmate disappear without a trace. But this load of bull this load of crap isn't going to bring her back. You're just like her, really. Living off your own little fantasy world and pulling others into your own delusional bull crap. Bull crap. So, so sick of this. Oh, I just walked in on this. If this is how you feel, then fine. I'm sorry for dragging you all into this. I'll do it all over by myself. Intruder. It worked. I can't believe it. It worked. Who's talking? It's strange. These, these appear to be dolls of some sort. I guess this whole scene isn't real, but I could have sworn they were just talking. Okay, I thought the green character was the announcer from Close Your Eyes, but no, it's just another guy. <laughs> so they're like Toy Story where they just stop talking and moving because someone else saw them. 
Hmm. I have no idea what to look for. Uh, is there a run button? No, it doesn't appear to be. Looks like I'll just leave then. If I can. Or not. They are your friends. Take care of them. Okay? Okay. But they don't acknowledge me. I don't quite see a uh, way out. <laughs> Let's try to leave, actually. I will protect them if I can. Oh, I was teleported to Heavenly Host. Huh. Oh boy. I really hope there aren't just a bunch of empty rooms. Ooh. Within the cage you spot a switch. Pressing on it does nothing, however, but it seems to be no power. Oh. Oh boy. Puzzles. <laughs> Every desk seems to be the same, so I don't think there's anything wrong. So I need to find a power switch, I think. But yeah, we're teleported to like a school now. Door is locked. And I walk down this hallway all the way down. Okay. I will protect my friends that I don't recognize. Ooh, save point. Yeah, uh, that, that screenshot's from Close Your Eyes. There is another RPG Maker game that uh, actually got a huge uh, update to that I might actually play. It's a game I played before, but I'll just redo it. I won't say what it is, though, but you guys might guess. Circuits that wind through the walls of the establishment are connected. To turn off any device on the premises, all you need to do is find the correct phrase. Uh, press the button and then press either the power switches or the... Oh. Okay. Okay. Well, I see a button. And I press the button. I hope the button worked. I think. Did the button work? I kind of want to explore a little bit more before I go and actually check. Ooh. Spooky clinic. Uh-oh. That's giving me a white day flashback, this thing. It's going to disappear on me, isn't it? Dirty bed. Dead end. Nothing seems important, really. Do you know these nights where you've lain down and suddenly you feel like you're falling? Just for a second. What if we're all just falling? What if life is but a fleeting dream in that last moment of existence? We live in a dream, and when we begin to lay to rest and enter within a dream, for the brief moment we experience it, and we detach our sense from this plane. And in that single moment, when we tread into our subconscious, we feel it. For that moment, we feel ourselves falling. Maybe our time here is slowed down to our actual descent. As in, maybe we always keep down our experiencing falling. And in slow motion to the point we don't regularly realize it. And in those moments when, we just, when it catches up with us, just for a splinter of a moment... We're actually in real time. And each and every time we experience this, we're just a bit closer to the ground. Hmm. Not sure what to say about all that, but... Okay. Anything in here useful? No. 
What a weird ass room. I actually don't remember if I went into this room over here. I think I did. Oh yeah, it was the button. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, there's something there. Was that there before? What is that? The fuck? Okay. I can't tell if this is a thing that I'm doing. Alright, anyway. Very creepy presentation so far. I don't know if that helped open that door. There are not many rooms. Hmm. Now it's still locked. Oh, there, there is a puzzle here. Um, okay, I'm supposed to look for AO. Also, I think I hit a, the, the right switch. No, I need AO. That's what I'm assuming. Hazy day? No. Uh, no. Creepy. No. There's gotta be a phrase with the uh, initials AO. Ooh. Let's try it. Did that work? Or not. Nothing's coming to kill me either. Maybe carriage? No. Ooh. That might have done it. I hope. Oh. Never mind. Did I ever look at these? No. Um, alright, so there's wood in the way. I can't walk over it. My little baby legs. Okay. Just still looking around for, for anything that I might have missed, because that puzzle in that classroom, I have no clue. But we'll, uh... Oh, what's this? I've been concerned about the students here as a late. A lot of students have been coming to school sick, and I just don't... I just don't mean with the common cold. But almost none of them will come and see me about it. The symptoms are a bit strange and at first glance seem to seem more like a physiological condition rather than a physical one. Or psychological, I'm sorry. They'll just start spacing out at a moment's notice, completely cut off from the outside stimuli. From some of the students will start walking as if in a trance and head to wherever the closest access to a view of the outside is. And then they'll start staring at dirt. They'll stare at it for minutes at a time, just looking down at the dirt. It's very strange and very concerning. It's been happening to dozens of students, and it's hard to get them to come in and see me about it. Most just seem to think that it's anything more than them spacing out. The school board isn't treating this like an issue either. I think they think it's just a bunch of aloof kids trying to pull a prank on teachers or to get out of class. But if you just take a moment to walk down the halls, particularly close to the windows and doors leading to the outside, you'll find several kids just standing there, staring. Don't even know where to begin with this, but something is very obviously wrong. Sounds like it. And you, my friend, have not done anything yet. Hmm. Wait. What's that? It's too high to reach. 
I just noticed that. If that was there before, I feel dumb. Do I not have an inventory? Doesn't appear to be. I need to push something to climb. Come on, man. I should be able to climb. But I don't know what to use. I don't know what the game wants me to use. Hmm. Well, I got two objectives. Uh, though I think the classroom with the puzzle is one of the keys to moving forward in this game. Well, let's keep looking. Okay, so I press that button. Wait. He moved? <laughs> what the fuck? What's up with this game? I just noticed this, this mannequin moved. That's scary. Alright, so I watched uh, Risk Rim's video of this. And apparently this game's not very clear. But uh, I do already figured out that I should be hitting this book. And press it. Okay. And now... Yeah, now I can hit this. So the fact that there's no noise or no way of knowing if you did things right doesn't help. But yeah. So I, I just wanted to move on with the game because I was so lost I didn't know what the game wanted me to do the, so the whole school shook which makes sense it's a paranormal school okay so now that the school had an earthquake I unfortunately I do know what that means did he disappear he did that's kind of creepy uh, but now that the school had an earthquake Big shocker. Well, to you, not to me, but... <laughs> now, let's see... Oh, wrong wrong room. Let's see... Oh, is it this door? Yeah, it's this door. Let's see if that item fell down. Because I assumed I had to move, like, a bed or a chair or something like that. But no, it fell. So what is it? Alright, so I have the school key. And it looks like the mannequin's gone. So I didn't look up anything past this. I wanted to experience this myself, but yeah, some some of the cryptic things that go on. Just don't know what to do next. Um, oh, okay. So this key should unlock that door over there then. All right. Because yeah, you hit that big button, but then you don't really know what it does, and like I hit the button again, and I don't know if I turned off something that was just on. I have no way of knowing. But shout outs to Risk Room for making uh, daily content. Something I inspired to do one day. I unlocked the door with the school key. Great. So now we can move on to more of this game. Down to an endless hallway. Oh, there's a bird cage. And another bird cage. Well, I'm scared. What's going on? <laughs> oh, now we're running faster? <laughs> I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm a big fan of this game so far, I just wish that that puzzle wasn't so annoying. Because it kind of killed the mood a little bit. But now I'm back, now we're back in it. But where am I going? I guess we're going to this door. Oh! That actually kind of frightened me a little bit. What? I thought I was in court. I thought I was behind the, uh... 
I don't like this one bit. Give credit what credit is due. They came in like Joan said they would. I think we should give them both the benefit of the doubt. I mean, this is like a miracle. I don't know, Allie. I kind of agree with Ben on this one. This whole thing is just too weird. But how is this thing even going to help us find Valerie? It doesn't even talk. It doesn't even do anything. It just stares at us creepily. What can it even do? Are you talking about me? Don't be like that, Harry. I think it's kind of cute. Jones said having it around would help us find Valerie. I guess all we can do is look around town and take it with us. What are... What? Are we walking our pet? I'm not taking that thing with me into town. What the fuck is Joan anyway? Apparently she already took it with her to check out the beach. So she bailed on us, that fucking broad. She wants each of us to spend a day searching the part of town with it. I don't like it either, but I guess we should do it. Who knows what might happen. I'll tackle the industrial district tomorrow on Friday. Harry, she wants to check out some part of town on Saturday. And Joan, she wants you to take them somewhere on Sunday. <laughs> and I'm going to a party Saturday. You can take it with you, Harry. Probably make you the life of the party. I have church Sunday, so I guess I can take... I can take them and check out that neck of the woods. Maybe I can ask the father to look at them. To be honest, I don't know how the sort of thing fits my beliefs, but I want to ask about it. Yeah, it's going to be a great weekend. Take that. Take the fucking little creep on tour. Ben Alley, don't tell Joan I said this, but she's a fucking psychopath. You're also cursed a lot. <laughs> and here I am, still confused as to what's going on. There's still dolls. Hmm. I guess it is with me. Hmm. Maybe I'm trapped in a room where they keep replaying memories for me or something. I don't know. Where am I supposed to go? So make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh boy. Let's, uh, let's just leave. Yeah, let's just leave. Ooh, a save point. It's so bright and glowy. Okay. It's sealed shut. There's a star design on the door with some text engraved to it. When the stars are aligned. Alright, I'll keep that in mind for a puzzle. Oh my god, what is that? Okay. There's a note on the wall. Read it. Dear sweet little marshmallow, I watch you, my gaze fixed on your alluring form. You're always just out of reach, so close that my fingertips begin to tingle. Why do you tease me so, little marshmallow? Do you like to torture me? I like that. You know, back then, I didn't know you yet. I had toyed around a bit in the past, sure. I even believed I knew what love was, but I never expected to be graced with someone as beautiful as you. So I've made everyone else seem so insignificant. You're my ideal, and I don't want you to forget it. Don't ever think for even a moment that you're involved. You're unloved. I'm excited for what's to come. Sincerely yours, Simon. Okay, so I got a creeper. Aw, oh, man. Tome of the Crimson Angel. Hmm. We suckle, we rest, filled with hopes. Okay. I figured it was going to be creepy, but not story related. Just had a feeling. When the stars align, clock has stopped moving. Fantastic. Probably another puzzle room. Is 
there's, this, there's all these book sh uh, bookshelves, shoe shelves, shoe lockers, I mean. Very common in Japanese schools. But they're just going to toss them on the floor. Okay, let's check out one of these rooms. I don't know what those... Oh, God. <gasps> Is this... Oh, shit. This is a bathroom. Ew. I remember this from uh, Hollow Bliss. Is this the same layout? It is. Ew, that's so weird. Oh. <laughs> Camera angles. <laughs> this is so weird. I remember, was it this side? I remember there was like a peephole on one side, but I thought I knew where. This is so weird. Or maybe I'm in the wrong one. That was a the really creepy game. It's the exact same layout. Alright, well, let's leave. Because that actually might be the wrong one. Also, I have another room to explore. Oh! Well, he has the men's. Bathroom. Why is the... Oh, it appears clogged up, huh? How? <laughs> I hear, like, voices. Or at least I thought I did. There was, like, steam coming out of one of the bathrooms in the previous game. I don't know if it's the same here, but... This is so weird. <laughs> okay. I don't even know. But that's clogged up. Oh, okay, hold on. <sighs> Maybe that's my hint. Hold on. I wish I ran a little faster. I tried all the buttons. I'd be mad if I found out there was a run button, but I just didn't, couldn't figure it out. Yeah, here's the steam. So it should be this one? Yeah, here it is. I will investigate. This is the exact same mission. What does that sound? Oh! <gasps> Oh boy. You are so pretty. I'm in danger. I see why he likes you. Look at it. Look at what? I can't get out. Help. Help. It's unfortunately locked. No shit. It's a rose? <laughs> this game gets weirder and weirder. You're a murderer. I'm sure you're aware. But it does not matter now. Do you feel your spine bend back? Do you ever feel your spine bend back? Let me tell you a story. Not my story, but one I shall share. Who's talking? Once well, there was a young girl, such as such a sweet thing she was. She played and had fun with limitless amounts of energy and creativity. She was smart and real kind. You'd think everyone would have admired her. 
But everyone secretly loathed her. She was so sweet and precious, a bright shining glow that cast a thick line of shadows on those around her, revealing their ugliness. Their shadows stirred and drove them to want to soil such a precious sweet light. They committed atrocities to her. Hands reached out to grab her. Oh. Okay. This rose is really getting in my face. This is not... This is a very sad story. God. What are they doing to me? This is not pure field. I'm sure you've realized that by now, yeah. Right click this game in your library, go to properties, click local files, and then browse local files. You shall find pure field there. What? <laughs> okay. Whoa, alright, hold on a minute. That was weird. Alright guys, my name is Chris Kane. Um, not sure how I'm going to do this, but what I'm going to say is that if you have not watched my video on the game Feast Your Eyes, this isn't going to make any sense. In fact, I'm not sure if this is going to make sense to me at all, but I've never had a game end with them wanting me to find the real game. Anyway. Let's jump into this. It's nice every once in a while to just relax from the stresses of life. Take a moment, just a moment, and go outside, feel the sun, breathe in a breath of fresh air, and recall fonder times. Treat yourself a little each day to some relaxation. Don't overwhelm yourself, or else you might end up like me. Find the red circle, the yellow triangle, and the blue square. Or don't. Just make sure that you enjoy this moment, or you never know what the next one might bring. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, what? Wait. Can I... I can't turn around, I can only look forward. Ooh. What's up, Ripperoo? Okay. Good for you. <laughs> oh, stay a gamer, you do so well with these creepy games. I don't know what I'm supposed to do right now. I, I feel stupid because I feel like I can totally look around, but I can't figure it out. Oh, okay, here it is. Ooh. Ugh, it's oh, it's kind of awkward, but I got it. Ew! What the? <laughs> the wind blew so strong and blew my clothes away. I, I remember when that happened to me. Never. Wow. Okay. <laughs> if I make that the thumbnail, I wonder how many views I get. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not going to get kicked off. Oh, this, these controls, to me, are awkward. Oh. I'm finding all these fun little characters, right? What the hell? Hi, three. <laughs> Let's keep finding more characters. 
Ooh. Anime girl. Hold up. So is there a character? Oh, there's a house here, but I'm afraid to go in. Because this game loves to teleport people into crazy situations, so I'm not doing that yet. What the fuck? Perplexing. Curiosity. Uh, curiously, this gate is often locked. Baka. Oh! Wait, I opened it? Oh. <laughs> Only an idiot would be considered doing that. I kind of wanted to go into the house first, but now... Oh, I don't know. I don't know which one's the, the realm of no return. Let's just go into the house. I would assume this wasn't... Ooh. What the fuck? <laughs> no man, how's it hanging? Normal guy. What the fuck? Oh, what's up, man? You got ice cream. Nice. What the hell is that? Okay. <laughs> I am disturbed. Alright, now we can go into the realm of no return. Which I assume that's what that is. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Who cares? Oh, hello, drunk man. Listen, buddy. I know you're curious. But, uh... Like, you gotta do this to, like, make progress or some shit, but, uh... You don't gotta do anything. Just take care of yourself. Do what's best for you. Yeah, I, I, I hear you. Oh, these controls are so weird, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Oh! I don't remember the controls being this weird for me. With, um... Oh, wait, because I did it with a mouse and keyboard. Oh, I'm... Oh, my God, I'm so stupid. I didn't even try using my mouse. What the hell was that? Ooh, pretty. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so out of practice with games like this. I thought I tried the mouse, but it didn't work. All right, into some creepy shit. What's that? Big Dipper? Is anything chasing me or getting closer? Not that I see. Oh, man, dude. Where where am I trapped? See, the thing is, like... Like, you could say you're a gamer and all, but this is what I live for, man. Like, this, to me, this is being a gamer, jumping into weird-ass games like this and trying to figure out what to do. Get thrown into worlds like this that you don't normally see. My okay, I'm walking away. Or I'm against a wall, I'm not sure. I can't seem to interact with anything yet. Nothing yet. What the fuck? There's nothing that stands out right now. Oh, what the fuck. You know, if I do back up, I think I would be able to find things better. I need to know the outer limits. Excuse me. Very creepy. If I don't know where a door or exit is. How do I escape? Any of these look different? I don't know. I 
I feel like I'm supposed to interact with some. Oh! <gasps> my friends struggle in rubble. Oh my god, what the fuck? Ew! I feel like I'm being chased by it. I don't know. What the fuck? Oh, it's just my hand. Oh my god. Help! <laughs> being chased by arms. Ooh. It's red. That's good, right? Oh, the red room. Perfect. This sucks. Bruh, this this sucks. Don't let them touch you or regret it. Oh, God, I, I didn't. Mm. This is actually really creepy. I don't like this. Am I still recording, right? <laughs> Hold on a minute. Yes, I am still recording. Okay. Part of me felt like it wasn't. Dude. Dude. <laughs> I hit F hoping a flashlight would show up. Oh my god, what is that? Hello? Ugh. I can't tell if they're on rails or if they can actually come up to me. Oof. Yeah, I'll probably regret if they touch me. Yeah, it looks like it. I'm fucking running. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Oh. Wait, you... The fuck? You died, you died? Or you transformed, actually. Ew. What? Ooh. Okay, can I... Okay. Wait, I can't move. How do I... How many pages of dialogue does she have? Because I can't move. Uh, oh, shit. Oh my god, I it just ended. <sighs> Ooh. Everybody's like corrupted right now. Well, if you're gonna suffer with me, you might as well suffer with me right now, everybody. <laughs> there we go, God. How about you, friend? High threes? How come you didn't get corrupted? Oof. Yikes. What happened to my friend over here? No, they're all still good. Can I just go to bed? That wasn't fun at all. Nope. How am I supposed to avoid those things? Oof. Yeah, that's right. You're our thing. Ugh, I gotta redo that all over again? What the? Or maybe not. Or maybe I do. Well, I just have to look over the red eyes again, right? This is so creepy.
area is so huge. There's probably more places to go to, but I don't know. Maybe there actually isn't. All right, let's just go back in here. Right, so red room. You'll regret it if they touch you. I'll, I'll try, but that looks really hard, actually. It does. Okay, so we're back down here. Oof. Yeah, they look really hard to avoid, though. Like, let's just stand all the way out here. Oh! Have to study their pattern, because their pattern looks so sporadic. Just run. Ooh, a well. That's nothing. Oh fuck. I see a door there. I th or no, that's not a door. Dude, fuck. I love these things. I hope they go in a circle. Hey, yeah, don't touch me, please. I. Oh. Okay, right, who got corrupted? Or no one did. Oh, that's kind of annoying. <sighs> oh, all right. We're at the red room again. And I'm going to do this one more time because uh, I'm actually running out of time. <laughs> uh, so this has been very, very creepy. I, I don't I don't think this will be a separate video. I'm not sure. Depends on if I'm able to make it this time uh, because I, I don't really know where to go these things are everywhere oh fuck I, I thought I went through a door early oh god oh god oh god oh god oh god <laughs> alright there's a bunch of them, most likely it's because... Oh, that's the direction. <sighs> Up progress. Oh, boy. <sighs> Alright, we back again. It just seems so hard. It's like, it, I hate... Ugh. Anyway. <laughs> Trial and error. We all don't like it. I'm sure we can all agree. Is this a ramp? Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't tell where I'm at. Okay. I thought this was a ramp. Do you guys know the way? No, you're just going to stand in my way. Okay. So we got this area. Which just seems safe for right now. I just want to progress forward. Fuck. Sake. Alright, you know what? I'm going to end the video here. It's probably going to be one big video. And uh, if you guys have any tips on how to get past that part, let me know. But I hope you guys enjoyed the big long video. <laughs> I'm assuming. Uh, it's been a very what the fuck adventure. I hope you guys appreciate that. For free to suggest other games like this. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I spent a long time playing this, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Peace out.